Okay, the one said, how do I know the original? So, some people say this blender is fake because, as you can see, I'm still using it up to date. Hey, hey. <laughs> they have come for me. My village people. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I just have to bend up for this video so you guys can see my face clearly. Excuse my hair bonnet, okay? I'm not in the mood to arrange this hair. So many things are going down here, okay? <laughs> so, guys, okay, I'll manage. So, guys, in this video, I want to be answering some questions I got from my Silver Crest Blender review. I did about a year ago, let me say nine months ago, yeah. So this is me coming back to answer some of your numerous questions some of you asked in the video. And also some people said the, the blender is fake. Some said even the original ones, the bot, um, is also fake. So I'm going to, so the reason for the video is just to clear up things here, okay? First of all, I'm not the distributor, I'm not the supplier, I'm not their agent, <laughs> if there's something like that. I just bought this blender and I unboxed and texted it on my channel, okay? So I'll be asking some of those questions. Some people ask, can it blend grains? Can it um, blend coconut? Um, it's fake. Uh, what else? How do I know the original? Uh, hair and so many other questions I'll be asking in this video and also how to maintain it for it to last long as you can see I'm still using it up to date hey. Hey. <laughs> they have come for me my village people <laughs> I'm still using it up to date this is the blender this is what it looks after almost one year let me say nine months and this is the yeah, this is the blender and this is the engine. So guys, in case you are wondering what's behind me here, this is my century electric oven. I bought it sometime December or November. Yeah, I have a detailed review on this century oven too on my channel. Yeah, a lot of you are still asking questions on that channel on that video. I'll still answer them. Maybe in some other video, not in this one. So guys, concentrate on this blender. That is what we are here. In case you are seeing this face for the first time, guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Nelly Connor, a mommy, vlogger, content creator that stays in New York, but I am from Imbo State, all in Nigeria. So the first question I have here in my book, because I wrote it down, I don't have a second phone where I can read it from. So, someone asks, where did you buy the blender? I'll be attaching the question clip on the screen, okay? So, I bought the blender online. Sometime last year. Last year, when Jumia was celebrating their anniversary. So, they sold the, the blender with promo price, yeah. The price I bought it as a then was 17,000 naira promo price and it was online junior so someone asks how do i fix the round elastic is that simple guys i think the person is talking about this round elastic hope you can see my face this round elastic okay you just place it like this that's all i put a blender i hope you can see it just the round elastic is just like this. Just keep it like this and it will lap. Once it laps, you put your blender and blend. Okay? So the next question I have here is can it blend grains? Yes. If you have if you have been following me on my channel or my videos, if you've been watching my videos. You will see where I used it to blend my soya beans meal. Yes, I'll be attaching the video here. 
my soya beans meal. I've used it to blend coconut. I also use it to blend my cream, my smoothies. They are all on my channel here. So, and what else? So many other things. So for the for the grains, the blender won't blend it so smoothly. Yeah. To be honest, it will not blend it so smoothly. But if they try, <laughs> if they try, but at least the blender is serving the purpose of which I bought it for. Che, what's that I mean? The blender is having its purpose, yes. And if I want a higher one, or if I want to go into some brand business, of which I know that I need a very smooth consistency, I don't need to go to the market, I can go for a higher blender, okay? But for now, this one is having its purpose, of which I purchased it for. Okay, the one said, how do I know the original? So... Some people say this blender is fake because, let me show you guys, come closer, I hope I'm getting myself, I'm using the back camera. Okay, some people say the blender is fake, just as I said before, I'm not working with Silver Crest, it's not even a paid promotion, unless, you know, Silver Crest, you guys want to pay me, I'm up for business. But for now, it's not a paid promotion. I just saw it online and I bought it online. So some people said this particular one is fake. That the original one has something written on that display or here, something like that. SC, SC what? Let me check. How to identify the original one is um, it has something written under here or under here any which way okay i think either here or here i'm not too sure then um, what is written on that there is sc underscore 1585 sc underscore 1585 so guys this is what the supposed original silver crest is meant to look like if you look at the carton you have you see the c s SC 1589 and if you look at the uh, at the top of the knob where you can regulate the blender you will see multifunction blender robots okay so this is what you look and if you look at under the regulator you also see the SC 1589 okay so these are the things you have to look at for the major things you have to look out for before you go for this blender so that you don't fall a victim because a lot of substandard blender substandard silver crest are in the market and the prices also differ the original ones are sold above 35,000 naira then the Acura cores are sold below 35,000 so though you might meet some wicked vendors who will sell the fake ones at the price of the original ones okay so these are the things you just have to look out for so whether it is fake or original I've used this blender for over nine months or so and it's having the minor purpose of which I bought it for I do my children's smoothie. I do. Uh, I can blend coconut if I want to do tiger nut drink. I can as well blend it with it, and I also blend my soya beans meal, my grains with it. Though it, the grains doesn't come out so smoothly. Yeah, even when I was doing my pack, of which I have the video here, I will still be attaching some of the videos in my description box if I remember. But I will. Okay. So some of the pack cereals I've been making the the what they call it the nutty pack where I blended coconut all kinds of nuts in that pack I use this blender yes and so many other even the 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 grains itself the millet the guinea corn all of them I used this blender to blend it okay so. What else? 
Is it serving you well? Someone asks, is it serving me well? Yes, it is serving me well. According to the price I bought it, it is serving me well. Yes, assuming I want to go into Tom Brown business, I will now go for a higher one, of which I know that, yes, this is business. I'm using it for money purpose. So, anyhow, my, I will still recover the money. I'm an evil woman, don't blame me, okay? But for the price, I bought 17000 yeah, uh, on Jumia promo. Yeah, it won't be outside promo. The blender card could be 23000 24000 Naira. Okay? So, another thing I love about the blender is that from this video now, as you can see, this blender now is used to have a knob. My children have used that one to do Sarata. They've thrown it away, okay? So, in as much as the knob is not here, the knob which serves as a regulator to blend. Mm -hmm. It also has a second option, which is this one. This one here. I don't know if you guys can see me. This one here has been serving me to blend. This one is the regulator, and this one is for blending. You can increase, you can decrease. But they've thrown that one away, and luckily, and I'm glad I still have the second option, of which I've been using to blend my things. So that's one good thing I, I like about Silver Crest. When it comes to serving you well, it cannot serve you well if you don't maintain it, okay? Most times after using it, I wash it immediately. You know, don't joke close to this blender for me, okay? I wash it well and I dry it well. Then I keep it in an open space like this, okay? I don't go to hide it anywhere, but I keep it out of reach for my from my children, okay? Before they will go and pull out the remaining regulator, <laughs> okay? So, I maintain it by cleaning and drying and keeping it in an open space like this, so that even tiny tiny cockroaches do not get into, their, into the blender and maybe start biting the wire off or something like that, okay? That's how I maintain it. So, I hope this video is helpful and i also hope that i answered all your questions in my last video if you want i'm, I'm going to link the main video the one i did a proper review on this silver crest i'm going to link it in the description box down below okay if you want to check the video okay you'll see so many questions there and some of them i also answered it there okay so I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have subscribed to this channel. I hope. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Give this video a massive thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. For now, bye-bye.